I made a video about a month ago now where I told you that GPU prices were starting to come down, but it wasn't the time to buy. Well, that trend is continuing to happen. So here's the follow-up video to see where we're at and what you might want to look out for. Hey YouTube, I'm Danny, welcome to the channel. The past two years have kind of been a bust when trying to buy a graphics card. I mean, we've had the crypto boom, we've had Nvidia and AMD both release brand new graphics cards, and we had a world pandemic that caused hardware shortages pretty much everywhere. Well, things have finally started to turn around and I am very happy for this change. Crypto mining is becoming less and less profitable and if the news rumors are true, GPU mining may dry up overnight, which means more used cards on the market for you and I and cheaper new prices because they're not gonna be able to sell new cards if all of us are buying up the old cards. In the last GPU comparison video I did, I created a chart that's fairly easy to understand and I'll be using that chart in today's video. Now I've updated it with the most current prices and I've also added a few GPUs that were just released. Please remember, prices are current as of the time of this filming. They could go up or down even more at any time. Also, these prices are in US dollars. The mainstream category is for the 1080p gamer on medium to high settings, and sometimes you can dip into the 1440p segment as well. I listed the current cheapest prices for each card inside the box with the card model. I added last month's price for each in red outside the box so you can see if the price stayed the same, dropped, or even went up. In the mainstream category on the NVIDIA side, we have the RTX 3050 and the RTX 3060. EVGA holds the current cheapest price for both of these cards. You can get either of them over on Newegg. They're the 3050 XC Gaming and the 3060 XC Gaming. Now the 3060's price is after a $15 rebate. But like I said in the beginning of the video, you can see the drop in prices immediately on here. The 3060 went from 499 down to 429. The 3050 is an outlier. It actually went up to 314 versus the 299 that I had last month. There's one other card that does the exact same thing and it's over on the AMD side in this same category. The RX 6500 XT from AMD is still 199, which it was last month. The RX 6600 comes in above the 6500 XT and it's kind of between the 3050 and 3060 as far as performance goes. I tried to keep it on the chart kind of relative, but I only have so much space. The 6600 comes in at 335 and it's gone up from 324 last month. The cheapest card I could find was the ASRock model over on Newegg. The RX 6600 XT came down in price once again from 409 to 369. That's the MSI Mech model. It's over on Newegg as well after a $20 mail-in rebate. I'm gonna give a recommendation in each category, just what I think the best value is for the best performance uh, comparatively across that segment of cards. My call for right now is the RX 6600 XT. At $369, I think it's a great performer. It was actually teetering the performance category and the mainstream category last month, for, in, in my view. Now that it's come down a little bit in price, I think the value of that makes it more a mainstream card than a performance card. And that recommendation might change if the RTX 3060 drops in price a little bit more. I'm talking to you, NVIDIA. <laughs> Moving up to the performance tier, this is 1080p high refresh rate gaming or even 1440p. There are tons of options in this range and it's really easy to overspend, so listen up. On the NVIDIA side, we have the RTX 3060 Ti. The cheapest model I found was PNY's XLR8 Gaming Revell Epic X RGB. Holy cow, that's a big name. And that you can get that over on GameStop right now. That's the one that comes in at $549. The RTX 3070 I found is the ASUS Dual V2 OC Edition. That's over on Newegg. You can pick that up for $659. And then the 3070 Ti is the EVGA XC3 Ultra Gaming. That's over on EVGA's website and they have a $20 instant rebate. So it comes down to $699. The 3070 Ti was one of my recommended cards in the last uh, video. However, as you'll see in a second, prices have changed a lot. This is where AMD's new GPUs come into play. Now, the three new cards that they've released, I'm hearing are supposed to replace the original versions of those cards. However, currently they're for sale alongside the other ones. 
It might be because people aren't picking up the old ones. I'm not sure yet, but just keep that in mind. Also, I'm gonna tell you right now, they really aren't good value. I don't recommend any of these cards because their performance increase is really nothing that you can't achieve on your own. If you buy a 6700 XT versus a 6750 XT and just overclock the other one, you'll achieve the same performance that the 50 series model gets you. I suggest you just go for the standard versions since they're cheaper. On the AMD side of the performance tier, the 6650 XT cheapest model is the Gigabyte Eagle. You can get that over on Newegg. The 50 series cards don't have a April pricing list because they didn't exist then. But you can see the prices are almost at their MSRP to begin with. That just shows you that nobody wants that card. The 6700 XT dropped a lot in price. It was 566 in April, now it's 484. The cheapest model you can get is the MSI Mech that's on Newegg and it's got a $15 rebate to achieve that price. Next one up is the 6750 XT. That comes in at 549, which is its MSRP. Then you've got the RX 6800 non-XT. That comes in at $759. The cheapest model is the ASRock Phantom Gaming DOC. This is over on Newegg as well. For the performance tier category, my recommendation is gonna be that RX 6700 XT. At $484, you can't go wrong with that graphics card. Its performance is pretty much on par with an RTX 3070 for almost $200 less. So as long as AMD keeps competitively pricing these GPUs, they're the ones that you wanna be buying. Now my recommendation for the enthusiast segment is a little bit different. The enthusiast category is for the 1440p high refresh rate gamer or even the 4K gamer. On the NVIDIA side, you've got the RTX 3080, the RTX 3080 Ti, and the RTX 3090. The 3080's best price right now is the EVGA For The Win 3 Ultra Gaming. You can get this over on Newegg for $869. That is getting very close to MSRP, which I'm sure all of you are really happy about. The RTX 3080 Ti comes in at $1199, which is now its MSRP, and the RTX 3090 comes in at $1699. On the AMD side, you've got the RX 6800 XT, the RX 6900, and the newcomer, the RX 6950 XT. The 6800 XT's cheapest price is the ASRock Phantom Gaming D. That's from Newegg, and it comes in at $799. The RX 6900 XT's cheapest price is the Gigabyte Gaming OC. That comes in at $949. And the last model is Power Colors Red Devil OC. You can get it over on Amazon for $1,099, which is the MSRP of the 6950 XT. In this category, my recommendation last month was the 6900 XT just because of the really good price. However, the 3080 has dropped so much, that's my recommendation now. The EVGA For The Win 3 Ultra Gaming RTX 3080 is only $869 over on Newegg. I'm gonna say the RTX 3080 is the go-to. Its performance is really good. Its price has come down quite a lot. In fact, it may keep dropping. I don't even know. Now, this is the 10 gig card. They also have 12 gig cards as well, uh, but it's hit or miss on whether you find the 12 gig or the 10 gig. Both of them are great performing cards. I'm feeling pretty positive about the GPU situation right now. I mean, other than the 6600 and the 3050, prices have still kept dropping from last month to this month. And it wasn't even a full month. I only did this like three weeks ago. So I'm really happy with the direction the prices are going. And now we can finally pick cards up at MSRP and some even below MSRP. Newegg currently has the best deals with the most cards in stock. So that's the one I recommend to you. And that's the one that has the most links down below. Make sure when you're shopping on Newegg, you narrow down your search. If you go to the left side of the screen on Newegg, there's actually three different sections I want you to take a look at. You wanna find the GPU that you want. You wanna to go to the seller section and make sure it says Newegg. Check that box that says Newegg. And you also wanna select new, not used under the conditions tab. Then search for your card and you can find it right away. This just ensures you're not buying from a third party and you're not grabbing a used GPU, which is better in case something needs return. I had to make this follow-up video and I had to make it so quickly because prices are changing so fast, it's even hard for me to keep up. Now there's links down below in the description for all the GPUs I outlined today. There are affiliate links, so clicking them does earn the channel a little kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything extra and it really helps the channel. Speaking of help, if you need any, keeping an eye on the best price and parts for your next build, make sure you subscribe down below. Oh, and hit that like button while you're down there because it really helps promote the channel.
And as I always say, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh,